Hey guys, how's it going? Johnny with Lopez Lawn. I uh, wanted to do a video today of the 36 that I brought. Uh, I haven't used it at all, so it's just going to be an overview of, of so far what I think the mower has built. It's basically identical to my 48, which that one I've got about 70 something hours on, which I'll show y'all that here in a little bit. But I've seen a lot of comments and stuff on Facebook about these, uh, the 36 that Bad Boy came out with, which they just released this year. And I just wanted to do an overview, so if anybody's got any questions about them, this maybe can kind of help them out in deciding. Because I've, I've talked to a couple guys on Facebook that was interested in getting one, but uh, just so this is what this video is going to be about is the 36, and probably show some of the 48, and then I'll show you my whole lineup as far as Bad Boys is concerned. So let's just get this so started. And here's the 36. We brought this, or we ordered it in November and got it in February. So here's the, what you see in there, the date of manufacture, uh, November 2020. So Bad Boy just released it this year. I don't know why they didn't release it last year. They only released the 48 and the 54. So we waited on this one to come in. I've also got another 36, is it Gravely? which I love that mower too. It's not here now. We're getting the hydros and all that, the oil change and serviced on it. But, uh, so let's get into this. So first of all, I want to start here in the front of it. Um, like I said, and let me throw this out there real quick, trying to get my shadow out the way. Bad boy don't pay me for nothing. I don't, I paid for these mowers out of my own money. And uh, so I, this is just my view of using them. I've had, I've owned one for about five years now and I enjoy them. And I'm not one of those guys that, uh, I feel that I'm not this video is not to tell you hey go buy a bad boy this is just showing what I like and I think everybody out there that runs these kind of mowers stand-ons or sit-downs my, my my opinion and my advice to you is go with the mower that fits you the best fits your business the best and is most comfortable for you whether it be bad boy skag or a X mark hustler John Deere doesn't matter whatever fits you the best that's what I would recommend buying so this is not a video to say hey go out and buy a bad boy so let's get over here let's see let's start with the deck uh, the deck is man it's well built solid uh, the motor it's got the FX 691V uh, let's see what else it's got the pin system for your height adjustment and the front is what I wanted to talk to you guys about how how well built this thing is this thing is solid uh, you can see the weld marks here 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 um, I just yet to see a mower on the market especially a 36 that um, is built like this in the front so that, that tells you a lot right there and the main thing is they're built in the USA built in Arkansas um, fuel tank I wish they held a little bit more fuel but because on the 48 I can go through it pretty quick I can fill up twice a day and here's the bottom you can see the blazer like I said I haven't haven't mowed with it the only thing I've done with it is in and out of the trailer and then when I picked it up platform it goes in it can fold and you can you can walk behind it uh, you can it's easy to walk behind it. it's not a problem and it's it, to me it's really comfortable I like it you can see plenty of room it doesn't have the I guess what they call the scalp wheels back here I've seen like the rights they have them this one don't and then the cushion nice and comfortable and it comes up like so it sits in and gives you access to your hydros your battery uh, all your electrical pretty really it's pretty easy to get to anything you need here so that's always good and uh, I do like these little fenders that come on it I'm gonna try to get this back down and then as far as the controls it's got a USB port uh, still don't understand that. I wish they had something where you could set your phone or something your hour meter PTO your um, Choke, throttle, key, and then right here's your brake on and off. Uh, this little hole here, I don't know if you can see, there's just a gas gauge. So I don't have no, I don't, I don't know what behind why they 
I've seen other brands have the hole cut out. I wish they just have the thing up here, but there's probably a reason why they don't. But I can still see my fuel gauge just fine. It's not an issue. And then this little thing here, I guess it's supposed to be your cup holder. It really don't hold anything unless it's pretty big and fits in there snug. And then you got the, I like the bad boy front sign there. But uh, anyhow, overall, I like the mower. Um, and to get back on some other things, I've, I hear a lot of stuff about bad boys from other people. And this is off of Facebook, mind you, so that they're, some people commit that they're junk or I don't know what they're buying. If they're getting residentials, I have no idea. I can only go based off of what, how I've used them, you know, my experience over the years with them, and I think they're awesome. And like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a one man. I'm not 100% on bad boy. I mean, if there's another mower out there, I like to try it. And if it's comfortable and it fits me good, I don't mind buying it. Just right now, bad boy is what fits me good, and that's what I enjoy using, and I haven't had any issues with them. Um, and like I said, they're to me they're well built mowers. I and I've ran X Mark. The mowers I have ran is X Mark, uh, Hustler. I've got a Gravely, love it, great mower. Uh, John Deere, and I had a Husqvarna years ago, it was a residential zero turn. I brought it Lowe's, but I don't. I got rid of that a long time ago. Not because there was anything wrong with it. Just we just upgraded. But and that's another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. You know, I hear people say, I oh, don't buy them at box stores. My opinion is, if, if that's what you can afford or that's what you want to start out with, go for it. The uh, Husqvarna that I brought at Lowe's, we worked in a season in it, and I didn't have no issues with it. It ran great, and I think a lot of it is just due to the fact that, you know, how, how you treat the mowers. Uh, you, you service them like they're supposed to be serviced, and you don't go out there and beat them all to heck. I think any mower will last you. But like I said, I've, I wanted to do something on this 36 because... I haven't seen any videos out on it yet, and they're new this year, so I've seen a couple pictures of them, people posting, but not a not an actual thing, and I can't give a review because I, I, I haven't mowed with it. Now, if it's anything like the, uh, here's the 48, now I brought this back in June, I think, uh, and I've got, okay, I've got, let's see if you can see this, uh, let me try to get in here. No, I can't see it on my deal. There's 77.7 hours. Let's see if I can. Hold on, guys. There you go. You can, I think you can see that. 77.7 hours. But um, so far, this mower has done me great. I have no complaints with it. Um, I like these wheels, um, these Reapers. They're new to Bad Boy. And uh, the little one has it too. And can you tear up yards with these? Yeah, you can. You can tear up yards with these just like you can tear up any other yard with any other brand of tires. Um, it just depends on how you turn. If you just go in there and whip that sucker around, you're going to tear up yards. They do have better traction, I can tell you that, from running them, from running the 48. Because with on um, heels, we don't have a lot, but on some of the heels, it, it holds its own pretty good. And like I said, this this one we put the twills in the front. And like I said, I don't got no complaints. 77 hours, and there's the only thing that I've I've said, and it's, I've said it in the previous videos. I wish the controls they had a thicker padding because after being on it a while, for me, and it may not be for everybody, but for me, it kind of I don't know wears on my hands. I know my gravely has got the thick padded ones, and I like those. But other than that, I don't. I mean, there's not a cut quality is great on the 48, just like it is on my Outlaw 54. Uh, don't have no issues with that. Cut smooth, clean, and like I've said a thousand times, I'll put these motors up against X Mark. It's hard to say anything about Skag because I've never owned a Skag, never operated a Skag. Uh, we looked at those motors this year too, and like I said before in the other video, I couldn't get anyone to let me demo one, so we uh, we didn't go with them. But uh, I'm all for trying different motors, like I said. So I'm not going to be one of those people that's, well, this is the only thing I'm going to run. If something comes out or I'll try something that's comfortable, I'll, I'll buy it. But for now, bad boy is where I'm at, and that's what I like, and, and that's why we stick with them. Uh, they're good mowers. And like I said, for the guys that say they're junk, or they, I've had one guy tell me that he brought one. And any mower you buy, you can get lemons, and I'm not saying bad boys do. 
they're, you're gonna buy one and every one's gonna be great i've got a buddy that he's brought i can't remember if it's an x mark or skag and he barely had a couple hours and they ended up having to take the engine off put a new engine on it so it's just a sometimes it's a matter of the luck you get on a mower but uh, overall they're all good mowers every single one of them are good mowers they got their good and they got their bad so like i said my my advice to anybody that's going to purchase a mower is to um, try it demo it if possible um, and use it and if it fits you good you like it buy it uh, don't buy it because someone famous or someone regardless who they are says oh this is the mower you need no because what they may like is could be completely different than what you may like so the best best advice i can give to anybody watching this video is go out there try different brands see which one you like which one works best for you uh and it's going to make you uh more profit in your business and i would say go with that more whether it's hustler or skag or x mark or bad boy but I'm just giving my opinion, and this is, like I said, all these mowers I purchased, bad boy, I don't have anything to do with them as far as they're not, I'm not getting paid to make this video or anything like that. So I'm just telling you my honest opinion as a business owner running bad boy equipment. I'll do a quick view on this one here. It's the first you've seen the 48. Here's the brand new Rogue that we got to with the 36. We opted with the twills on the back of it. And... I've demoed the Renegade, and this has the same setup as the Renegade, except the only thing different is the seat. The Renegade had the, uh, uh, I guess you call it the uh, weight adjustment seat type deal with the cushions or whatever. I don't know what you call those. can't even think about it right now. Um, but anyways, I didn't go with that. I could have upgraded that seat, but this has the suspension system front and back, and from running the renegade i knew what i was getting already so if if i do have to change the seat i will but i think it's going to work fine just the way it is the only thing we got to do is get the shoot blockers on all these um i think i'm going to go with the mulch kit for the 36 because we don't do anything high all the yards we mow is manicured so mulch kit be fine these two bigger ones we'll go with the shoot blocker and then here is old trusty and you gotta excuse it, she's dirty. I was playing in the snow with it the other day and then we did a cleanup. And this bad boy here has got the advanced shoot blocker. And I got a little over 2,000 something hours on this motor and, and it's kinda, you know, you can tell it's, it's, it's wore down. But I tell you, this mower here is my go-to mower. And I gotta get it all cleaned, it's, it's dirty. But I'll have it cleaned. We're gonna put the new Reaper tires on this for this year. Those will be going on it. Um, and I've had this for about five years now, a little over 2,000 hours on it. And the only thing I had to replace is a starter and a battery, of course the belts. Haven't replaced any spindles or anything like that on it. And we run this, we have a cemetery that we mow. And we run it, when we get there in the morning, this mower will usually run anywhere from about 11 to 12 hours nonstop. The only time it stops and we don't shut it off is to fill up. And we only have to fill up once because it'll go through the grass is pretty thick it'll go through all these tanks or these two tanks and then about half a half of it we fill it up again it'll go through half a tank but uh if it ain't bad then we can usually run it all but we don't stop you know my guy don't stop for lunch once he gets started he goes until we're done with that cemetery and we've been using this at the cemetery for the last almost five years running like that all our big properties this is what we run on so the idea with this one is not to really retire this mower we're still going to use it at the cemetery and, and our big properties but we'll have two big ones and i didn't have two big ones before so um this will be the basically this we'll use this as the backup we'll continue to run the outlaw and if we need to we'll get this out on the cemetery uh, but any other big properties we'll run this one but this will stay this mower here will stay at the cemetery we'll use that for sure and any lots uh, sometimes i got customers that own some lots kind of overgrown We'll put this mower out on it instead of using the, the brand new one. Because this thing here, I use this to cut my personal yard with because I love the clean cut that it gives. But, uh, you know, I brought this brand new. This was actually my very first, first uh, commercial mower as far as bad boy goes. And uh, I ain't got nothing but good things to say about it. it. It's held its own. And I've had employees use it. and They've been real rough with it. And, and it still held its own. So, like I said, I put these mowers up against any other mower and like i said we're excited to use this one i'm gonna make a video about this one in depth but my main purpose was the 36 let's get back to it 
if you guys see something that I missed or you're interested, uh, let me know and I'll make another one. I'm trying to think of everything possibly I can to, to help you guys, especially the ones I've talked to already about the Bad Boy 36. Um, it's, it's basically the same platform, same everything as the 48. There's, there's nothing different besides the size of it. Everything else is identical. Um, I'm sure it's got a couple little different things, but it's, it's pretty identical. So I'm pretty much know what I'm getting with this one. But like I said, I haven't used it, so I won't know until I start mowing with it. And we're not going to use it until the grass starts greening up and, and stuff. We'll use the Gravely and the Outlaw for now to do all our scalping and get the yards cleaned up. And then we'll start using these new ones. Um, let's see, what else can I show you guys that I haven't showed you already? Got the run flat tires. Uh, we are, one thing, get back to this one real quick. I did find out Bad Boy does make the twills for the front, so we've got those on order, so that way we can go full-blown twills on this wheel mower. They haven't made them for the rear for the this one. I've already called and checked, talked to Bad Boy, they haven't got them yet. I'm sure they will soon enough, and I don't know if they're ever going to have them for this, but if they do, we're going to probably put them on. I'm new to the twills, so this will be my first mower owning with twills on it, on the rear especially, so I'm excited to see how those are going to do. Um, I'm trying to think is there anything else um pretty well compact and like i said th th this thing is for 36s uh it's built like a tank um, i kind of i'm not one to do a lot of numbers but i kind of looked them up and i seen that the stars x mark weighs in about 720 pounds i believe and i may not be exactly right on a few pounds but and this comes in about 800 pounds so it's a little heavier and I'm assuming it's heavier because of the metal that they're using. And like I said, I've, I've looked at a lot of mowers and this is like the, the fronts, these casters here, let's see if you can see that. These things, they're thick, they're solid. Same thing with this. You can see all the weld marks here, there. This is a solid machine right here. And that's what I like about it. There's nothing cheap about it. Um, Retail, they got them at, I think they're $64.99. I paid $65 for this one. Um, I know different places vary on price, but but they're, they're well-built mowers. And I'm excited to have this. I've been waiting for this for over a year to get this. I wanted this last year, but like I said, I didn't come out with them. So we're excited to use it. So I hope this video can help anybody out there that's looking or interested in one of these. Or just, you know, want to check one out. Uh, just try to get a hold of your local dealer and, and see if they'll let you demo one out and go out and try it. And, you know, like I said, some people may not like them. They may not be the right fit for them. I know for me they are, and that's why we stick with Bad Boy. And for the people, like I said, that says they're junk, I don't I don't know what they're using. I don't, I don't know what they're getting, but I can tell you, you can see my lineup right here. I'll show it to you. There's a lot of money right here, guys, and I'm not going to be spending this kind of money on mowers that ain't going to be producing or that's not gonna be quality or reliable. Um, these mowers are, they're some money makers and that's how I run my business. And this is how I make my money is off these guys right here. So I'm definitely, definitely proud of being owners of this bad, these bad boy mowers. I know what they can do and I've had them for years. And like I said, it goes back to this one right here, old trusty. She gets the job done no matter what. And she's been she's been through a lot so i think i gotta get my let's see if i can get my wife to sew this back up if not i might buy a new seat for it but even with the 2000 irons on it um everything seems good on it so i don't mind putting more money into it if i have to i don't never plan on getting rid of this thing i'm gonna keep it till the wheels fall off of it and like i said i'll get you guys a video on this one we'll go in depth on this one I, i'm not gonna do it today it's just mainly the 36 and in the 48 but like i said basically these two mowers are identical except for the size everything else is the same thing on them and as you see me fumbling with that little hand control <coughs> they do have different speeds and i guess i was told you know like if you get someone new you don't want them going too fast or whatnot you can set their speed and that regulates it let me see if i can yeah so you can you know you're going to be able to crawl there and then you're at your medium and then your full speed right there so real smooth controls like them um like i said overall good mower i'm excited to use it this is where we purchased them at b, &B garage blake's the owner 
there in Lawton, Oklahoma. Great guy to deal with. Love him. Uh, he's earned our business, and we're going to stick with him. He's always done me a good deal on my mowers, and, and I'm glad to know him, and I'm glad to be buying mowers off of him. Real quick, I want to thank all the guys that has been subscribing to my channel like i said i don't ever if you want to subscribe i appreciate it if you don't you just want to watch the videos i'm just trying to get these videos out here to to help you guys out and in decision making and pretty soon once we get mowing we'll start showing some work right now it's still kind of slow but but uh but i do thank all you guys for your for your comments and, and stuff i appreciate that it means a lot to me and and like i said i hope this video was give you guys some information on these mowers but uh well, you guys enjoy your Sunday. I'm going to get this thing uploaded, and it'll be on here in a little bit. And like I said, if you guys got any questions, just shoot me a comment and uh, let me know what your question is, and I'll try to answer as quick as possible, and, and I hope this helped you guys out. Quick update on the trailer. Um, we got the logos finally decided on, and so we'll be getting those the 24th of this month. It goes in to get all the logos put on it, so we'll be doing a video of that when we get it in. Still hadn't done anything inside yet. We still got to get the, I've got the blower racks, got to get the trimmer racks in, and we're going to get a table built there in the front. Uh, so we got a lot of work to do in this, but I still got a little bit of time. And then we're going to add, I found these lights on amazon their led stick lights that you can put long ways run a wire down and probably run it to that battery right there and just uh have a switch or i may run it all to that switch i don't know yet i don't need a lot of lighting in here because i won't be in the dark too much but i do in case i need to work on something that's dark i want a good lighting so we're going to put there's four led sticks that come in so we're going to put them along the top here and that should light it up pretty good and then we'll get the the little bench table built in right there Cause I've got some toolboxes I'm going to put there and then all the racks will go in and, and stuff. And I found a, a, a 30 gallon fuel tank can. I guess you can pump it. I think we're going to put it right here, somewhere right here. And that way we can, we can fill everything. I, I have a 15 on my other trailer. And matter of fact, I'll, let me take you guys to this other trailer. This trailer here, we had it built a couple years ago, so it's not very old. And what we're going to do with this one is we're going to turn this into our landscaping trailer. So if I need to haul a skid steer or back little, one of those little excavators or small ones, I can do it. Uh, we had a little accident with it this year. We are loading some, oh, about a half inch rock in it. And I didn't want the, the guy to load me from the side because of the racks that are here. I was afraid he might hit it with the bucket. And as you can see, this gate, it's got these kickers on and it's made so that way you can load with heavy equipment. So I had him come up to the back and I don't know what he did, but he started rocking it and come back on a gate and you can see the gate, uh, it's, it bent it. And that's some heavy gauge metal right there. And then landed on my other black backpack rack. And you can see where it bowed it out, bowed this piping out. Uh, everything else, didn't mess anything else up. We took this rack off. But it bowed it out here and the trailer functioned good there ain't nothing wrong with it besides that and it pains me because i shouldn't have been using this trailer for that but we needed a big trailer because we had a lot of plants and flowers we were putting out at a hotel and i needed the room so that's why i brought this trailer and and uh he just had a little fort miss accident here and messed up my trailer the owner of the place where i get my rock and my sod we're good friends and he said he'd make it up to me and I know we will, we just haven't figured out what we're going to do yet, but I'm not worried about it. I mean, it's equipment. It's going to get used and you're going to have accidents and it sucks because they're not, these trailers, you guys know, they're not cheap, but it happens and and uh, I lost some sleep over that a couple times because I just, I like everything to look good and I hate how this is bowed out. I thought about trying to bow it in, but I don't want to do more damage than it's already done, so I'm just going to leave it alone because like I said, the gate still functions really well. We can get out it sits it amazes me because as it's crooked it still sits flat on the ground but um but it still functions other than a little bit being a little bent and here's that fuel tank that we ran last year that's a 15 gallon tank right there gravity fed i think i'm gonna take that off and i'm gonna mount it on my flatbed over there that way i always got fuel and like i said we're gonna leave the basket i'm gonna leave that on there because it's got my logo and my number and we can use this all for our cleanups, landscaping. We'll use this trailer once we start scalping. We're going to use it. And, uh, and it's a Lamar. It's an 18-footer with a 2-foot dovetail. 
but we'll use it or you know, we can dump all the grass in the back and we can run the 36 off this side gate uh if you guys got open trailers man really consider getting side gates put on them these things make a world of difference uh easy access to getting your mowers out we normally got all our our two push mowers are 21 inch and our 36 come off this gate and then we had the 54 back there and still have plenty of room the racks i haven't decided if i'm gonna leave them on or take them off because uh, i was thinking about just making this a hard landscape trailer where you know we're equipment and stuff like that but for now i'm gonna leave them on and go from there and we we added the rims to it last year which we're gonna put new rims on a new trailer too i gotta get those ordered we already found the ones we wanted but this is a this is a well-built trailer i love it but like i said uh open tops are great trailers but for me i like all my equipment indoors i don't like them getting weathered on and so that's why i finally decided to get this enclosed that way in the winter time everything stays stored in there and not in my garage and that leaves me a lot of free room in the garage to put whatever else i need in there because these three mowers the three the rogue and the two stand-ons will be in here all times and then two push mowers we'll have in there but uh anyhow well guys i hope you enjoyed this video like i said i appreciate everybody that's commented i appreciate all you guys that subscribe my channel uh if there's something you want to see that i haven't showed you or or anything you need to know holler at me send me a comment whatever and uh i'll get that on there for you guys and i uh, hope you guys have a good sunday and uh i'll get the video on the road probably i may do it today and upload it tomorrow or something but but i'll get this one uploaded today and uh go from there well you guys have a good safe sunday and we'll talk to you later